all the oilers are on. Main steam on, here we go. You may just notice a little bit of funny noise just as the engine starts up. It's just a bit of accumulated water. Because she's been standing still for a bit. But once that all clears through, the noise will disappear. That clapping noise you hear there is the slide valve on the low pressure cylinder. This engine was built in 1903 and I've seen the correspondence from the owners of the Sleaford Maltings to Rovies of Lincoln saying why does this engine make a banging noise on the low pressure cylinder when it's uh, just starting up. They obviously never fixed it, still does it. Now this engine is a classic mill engine in that it's what's called a tandem compound. So it has a high pressure cylinder here, the steam is used in this cylinder, then it passes through a transfer pipe into the low pressure cylinder, and having worked in there, it's then exhausted into a condenser where you spray cold water and get a vacuum, so you use the steam three times. We haven't actually fixed up the uh, water supply for that yet, so it's running just on the two cylinders. I do notice as the engine starts to speed up, and all the water is gradually cleared out. You hear it starts to make its own just mechanical noise. All the water noise is gone. This engine ran the whole factory. There were two engines at uh, Sleaford called a mirror pair, so the one that was on this side was exactly the same as this, but the other way around. And that's also preserved at a uh, Bass's Museum in Burton-on-Trent. Her working speed was about 70 revs a minute, which is quite, quite fast to have running on demonstration. So we tend to run it just a little bit slower than that. But there must have been hundreds and thousands of engines like this built. And of course they were exported all over the world. You know, if you go to the forests of Indonesia, you'll find some wood soaring factory being run by a Roby engine from the 1900s built in England. So this is very much in the tradition of English British engineering uh, when everything was driven by steam. Again, the engine's speed is controlled or limited by the governor. There we go, we're just nicely lifting now. Notice how the engine it has a really lovely settled sound now it's running at its proper speed. And it would run like this day in, day out, maybe six months more or less without stopping, just stopping up for oiling and that sort of thing. Okay, so I'm going to turn the steam off now. So you're going to hear this horrible clattering sound as that low pressure steam valve hits against the slides. Again, when the engine man came to the end of his shift and he wanted to stop the engine, he would do as much as he could to stop it in the starting position. Otherwise, he'd have to bar the engine around. Don't forget, connected to all the line shaft systems, so it would have been quite a, a load. If we tried to start the engine in this position now, if I put the steam back on, you see, because the piston is well up, she won't start, so we've got to have to fire around next time. Yes, we can always do it with some volunteers. Okay.